Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel FedEx. In this video, we will talk about the velocity in Fresnes array frame of reference. For this purpose, we will choose the example of a moving particle having a curvilinear trajectory as shown in figures 1 and 2. In figure 1, the trajectory is oriented from left to right, while in figure 2, it is oriented from right to left. This affects the direction of the tangential unit vector ut that must be the same as the one chosen for the trajectory. The velocity v is not affected by the orientation of the trajectory and is represented by a vector which is always tangent to the trajectory at all its points. Therefore, it can be written as a function of ut. Vector v is equal to the algebraic value vs multiplied by vector ut. In figure 1, vs is positive since vectors v and ut have the same direction, whereas in figure 2, vs is negative since these vectors have opposite directions. The magnitude v of the velocity, also called speed, is the absolute value of vs. The average algebraic value Vs av is equal to delta s over delta t, where delta s is the change in curvilinear abscissa and delta t is the corresponding duration. It is thus the change in curvilinear abscissa per unit time. The magnitude Vf of the average velocity, also called average speed, is the absolute value of Vs av. The instantaneous algebraic value is the average algebraic value when the duration is too small. This can mathematically be written as the limit when delta t approaches zero of Vs av and leads, after replacing Vs av by delta s over delta t, to the derivative with respect to time of the curvilinear abscissa s prime. Example. The time equation of the motion of a B, considered as a mobile point, is given by its curvilinear abscissa, S equals minus T squared plus 2T in the SI, where the date T lies between 0 seconds and 4 seconds. 1. Calculate its curvilinear abscissa at T equals 3 seconds. To answer this question, we just replace t by its value in the time equation and get s equals minus 3 meters. 2. Determine the average algebraic value of its velocity and deduce its average speed between t equals 1 second and t equals 4 seconds. To answer this question, we need to apply the formula Vs av equals delta s over delta t. For this purpose, we will start by calculating the initial, then the final curvilinear abscissas by replacing t by its initial, then by its final values 1 second, then 4 seconds in the time equation. Then, we find the change delta s in curvilinear abscissa between these two dates, and we find the corresponding duration. Finally, we replace delta s and delta t by their values in the equation of Vs av, and get the average algebraic value of the velocity Vs av equals minus 3 meters per second. The speed is the magnitude of the velocity, thus Vav is the absolute value of Vs av. The average speed is equal to 3 meters per second in this case. 3. Determine the instantaneous algebraic value of its velocity and deduce its instantaneous speed at t equals 4 seconds. Note that instantaneous is written between parentheses because whenever we do not specify, the physical quantity is instantaneous.
To answer this question, we need to apply the formula Vs equals S prime, the derivative of S. So we differentiate S to get Vs at any instant t. Then we replace t by the given value in the obtained equation of Vs, 4 seconds in our case, and get the answer Vs equals minus 6 meters per second. Note that the negative sign for Vs means that at this instant, the B is moving in the negative direction. And as we just said before, the speed is the magnitude of the velocity, thus V is the absolute value of Vs. The instantaneous speed is equal to 6 meters per second in this case. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content.